Alright guys, and we are back with more Persona 3 Reload, right where we left off. And, um, quite a couple of things happened last episode. Uh, obviously we started talking to Tatsu. Luka's getting pretty good at cooking now. And, um, our boy, uh, the creepy, the creepy little kid visited us. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> but, um... So yeah, we're gonna uh, actually go hang out with Masatsu again. Hey, hey, doing the party. How's everybody doing today? I hope everyone is having a great day, no matter where you might be in the world. Oh. What it sound like to me? Anyway, what's the deal with your hair, kid? Doesn't it get in your eyes? Is that the style nowadays? Oh, the part where he gonna want to say, he gonna want you to say half his stuff bald. I remember this. No, yep, you heard me say it. Give the bald look a try. You heard me say it. Yeah, that might look cool. You got a good attitude, kid. You do get what I'm saying, don't you? I'm not talking about fashion here yet. I'm saying you'd be better off without your hair. I was just saying, I, I, I specifically remember oh, this part. Sure, you're young and good looking now, but just you wait. I mean, look at me. I'm old and ugly. My cheeks sack like a damn bulldog. That's life, kid. People get old. Someday you'll be just like me. One day in the future, you'll see your mug in the mirror and think, damn. I was handsome back in the day. Here's a little trick so you don't lose hope in the future. Just don't expect nothing. Simple, huh? That way you won't ever be disappointed. You're gonna lose your hair eventually, kid, so why bother with it now? Bald is beautiful. You just wake up in the morning and go. No fuss. You'll need a hat for the winter, but I say go for it. I'll spot you money for a shave and some clippers if you're short. <laughs> You don't need a hat for the winter, like that. What, is all my talking putting you to sleep? Well, you can't sleep here, kid. Go home and rest in your own bed. What's your class doing for the culture festival? Wow. You know what? A haunted house. I bet I'll be stuck playing a ghost. <laughs> huh. That doesn't sound too bad. You can just show up and put on the costume. I actually need to practice for a magic show. But I also heard a typhoon is on its way. And it's a big one. Are people really gonna turn up? Ooh, was this real? This might have been real, dog. Starting a new chapter today. This one's all about mixed up situations. You know the story reminds me of when I first met my husband. What a wild time that was. That's what I said. She got an R in her name for a reason. She looked good. At first we were somewhat distant, but after spending enough time together, one day I suddenly realized he was my better half. I just came up with a good question. Who is one referring to when speaking of their better half? 
a soulmate. Oh, yeah, wonderful. Someone you never want to leave and will always treasure always. I believe whoever makes you feel this way is your soul. Someday, if you ever meet someone who makes you feel like that, accept your feelings. You better have but open oh, no. Well, I'll look at the sign. Let's get back to the lesson. Do we? Do we? Let's hang out with Fuku. We've been hanging out with Fuku a lot, you love it. Hey, oh. Man, what was going on with you, though? Thank you, but don't you think I'm stupid for letting this get to me? If I'd just spoken up, I could have settled it right there. I know that, but I... I still couldn't say anything back. All these negative thoughts kept running through my head. I thought no matter what I said, it wouldn't do any good in the end. But now, I want to believe that I can change. Whenever I'm with you, I feel like I don't get swept up in those negative thoughts. I know I'm being selfish, but... Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm making it sound like I'm just using you, aren't I? <coughs> but that's not what I meant, really. What I'm trying to say is... I've really come to depend on you, and... I'm really happy that you're there for me. That's all. Who can express how she feels about her relationship with her is becoming more intimate. What? Oh, um, sorry. Oh, uh, uh, wait, wait, what do you mean? I ain't said nothing crazy, have I? This rate, I'm never going to be able to repay you. Well, I'm trying to mess with you, go or Miss Always going to you for help. I want to hear your opinion, but more than that, I feel at ease when you're with me. I wonder why. I'm sure it's because you're a leader. That's why I depend on you so much. Whoa. Is that the only reason? That's probably it. Ooh. This is terrible. Say it. Let, let's say, let's say, let's say that's probably it. You think so too? I tend to complicate things in my head by overthinking it. But I'll make sure to return the favor for everything you've done for me. Well, I'll see you back at the dorm. Hey. Oh. He 
got a he got an exclamation. What the fuck? What? What do you want? I'm trying to think of it. Elizabeth asked me to get a specific item for her. Oh, you want a fruit knife? What for? You gonna use it for cooking? Hold on. Oh shit! There you go. It's kind of old, but it's got a great grip. You can have it. Wow. Hmm. You gotta check check in on those rooftop planets. Hey, let's do it. Mm, it's nice that we don't have as much crap to deal with up here. There aren't as many weeds or pests on the roof. No moles or other critters that'll dig our plants up. All right. Still gotta watch out though. Some hungry asshole might try to help himself to the whole crop. Damn. Thank you, executed. <laughs> Missouri. Didn't know you were so hot blooded. Most of us here are decent and mature enough that we'd ask before doing something like that. With one exception. Ooh, Chaplin? I mentioned I did a bit of gardening back at the orphanage, right? If oh. someone sneaks a bite, it's no big deal. But this one time, some older kids stole our whole crop. Damn. Bucky got so pissed when that happened. He went after them all by himself. Even though they were twice as tall as he was. And then again... That's probably not much different from how he is now. <clears throat> he hasn't changed at all. Compare that to these guys. Growing bigger every day. That was pretty cool. This should be good for today. Mm -hmm. You can head on back. I'll stay and finish up. You can thank me by helping out again sometime. Three shadows left, huh? And only three more weeks till the next one appears. Personally, I'd rather take all three at once to save us the trouble. They don't underestimate. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Every enemy we face is stronger than the last. Since we've got more manpower, it should be easier to defeat them. Can't wait for the next one. Huh? You sure about that? I wonder what he's doing. Hang out with Kohari. Oh, that's my birthday. I can say it for me. Well, hello there. It's the inseparable duo. The girl again. <laughs> yes, you're still a good boy today, too. Oh, my gift is going to get cold. Look, I brought you some takoyaki today. Eat that? It's Octopia's specialty. Taco free takoyaki for dogs. There's one for people, too. So enjoy them together, okay? Mm. The woman left the takoyaki and walked on. It's the shake dog that chased the boy around the other day. So like he in bad shape. Oh my god, if he knows from that bowl, I'm gonna be done. Should we chase him away? Yeah. Yeah. He's look very hungry. And uh, look, see he has a collar. Oh, he hit that Scooby Doo. I stopped the obstacle with all. Look at her. Decided to take the stray dog to the police station. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like anyone's reported him missing yet. 
All right, now I got to see who Officer Kurosawa's voice is, because for real, he's starting to sound more and more like original Aki. So, you guys are helping stray dogs now, too? Aren't you <laughs> spreading yourselves a bit too thin? <laughs> Settle down now, Koromaru. You haven't changed at all, happy boy. He's always huh. felt the need to be this town's watchdog. Maybe he got it from the priest. And now that he's with you, he's more righteous than ever, isn't he? Anyway, hang on a minute. Huh. No answer. <sighs> Hello, this is Officer Kurosawa from the Tatsumi East Police Station. Well, it was written on the collar. Yes, no one answered, so I called you instead. Yes, that's right. A brown, medium-sized dog. I see. All right, I'll see you then. Hey. We've managed to identify the owner. However, they're in the hospital after falling to apathy syndrome. Uh. Damn. Yeah, the owner's family will take the dog in. Cases like this one have been on the rise. Pets are being abandoned because their owners are falling prey to apathy syndrome. And to survive, the pets have no choice but to take to the streets. Uh, maybe you need to hear this. So just know that you guys are doing fine. I don't know the whole picture, but that much I'm certain about. Uh, I'm gonna get back to work now. Watch yourselves on your way home, all right? Poor Mario seems sad. Is he thinking about that dog or the people who were harmed? We're the only ones who can change the situation. Do everything we can. On the counter, yes, sir. Welcome back. How was your day? I heard that your door is starting to open up a little. They're saying she's still uncomfortable about talking to her or something. I take a while. Mm. That's fine. Still got three shadows to work. Let's, let's focus on it. I'm sorry they didn't set foot. The Naka is already maxed up. Hmm, look for the Aragaki and Yukari. You know, I ain't did nothing with Yukari. Let's hang out with Yukari. One of my classmates lent me this DVD of a show she's been watching. I've been pretty curious about her for a while. She had some really good ratings. Wow. Did you want to watch with me? I guess. dramatic. It's like the stuff from overseas. This series is known for having a strong female protagonist. I've been curious about it for a while, but I heard it also has horror elements. You scared? No way. I've been totally looking forward to this. It's just this kind of thing is way more fun to watch with someone else, you know? Yeah. Oh, wait, it's starting. Man, the tension is palpable. Oh wow. Oh wow. That sound? That was in Persona 5. Really made me want to know what happens next. I guess it was more zombies than horror, huh? The that was in Persona 5, was an ordinary mm -hmm. person, mm -hmm. but she stood so strong in the face of adversity. <laughs> I love that. I feel like I was able to focus on the story thanks to you. I'll let you know when I borrow the next one. Mm -hmm. Good night. Mm -hmm. I 
can hear people talking. Hey, dude. Hey, you hear? Hikari Taka was gonna marry a maid dress for culture festival. <laughs> Seriously? Wait, is this a blessing from heaven? Actually, the archer team is doing maid cafe, and she drew the short straw. I heard she's not super stoked about it, so we gotta go support her, right? Right, she seems to be the talk of the town. Sounds like she's gonna dress up in a, as a maid for the culture festival. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Alright. I can't take it no more. I gotta hang out with my girl, you go. Where is she? Where the fuck is she? You go. Hey, hey, you fine motherfucker. These kids have been getting on my case about the whole culture thing. Okay, great. I might ask the teacher for permission to use the chamber. I'll see you up here. Hey. Straighten your back. And don't forget to swing your arms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Guess what? I beat Yuki chan. Yuki chan. Whoa, seriously? I beat Yuki chan. Okay. Toes raised. Go what? Faster that way. What? Got it, coach. <laughs> I did a lot of research on this, so I'm glad to see it's actually working. I mean, now that I've agreed to coach them, I gotta do a good job, right? I even used the school library for the first time to put together a training routine. <laughs> I gotta say, though, I'm amazed how much their times have improved just from correcting their form. Elementary school kids really learn fast, don't you think? Mm. You teach so well. You're right, it's impressive. Uh, let's say it's because you teach so well. Oh, I don't know about that. But hearing you say so does make me feel like I can do anything. Now nah, you go find us a oh, bitch. Give it their all. <laughs> like, God damn. Bird. Okay, one more round. Wow. Hey, hold on a second. You're all supposed to be on break right now. It's important to take time to get good rest. Kids your age need to be careful not to overdo it. You could get really hurt. Yeah, but there's no time for that. We uh -oh. gotta get going. Come on, we gotta show our fighting spirit. Maybe this funky boy is the one. I suppose we do I'm thinking about that. That doesn't remind me of Ryuji. I don't know. What do you think? Should I change the training routine? Maybe they should be running more. Uh, you shouldn't change it. Maybe you should rethink it. That's just whatever you decide, you know. Oh, you know what? You're right. I am the one who did all the research on how to avoid straining yourself. All right, listen up. I'm your coach now, so you stop running when I tell you to stop. That's you know, it would have been crazy, because, like, Ryuji already mentions the fact that he knows about Gekogon. Um, but if he would have said something about, like, knowing a girl named Yuko, like, that would have been crazy. Did you just call me? All right. Those who agree to the terms, go back to your break. Okay. Oh, sometimes I can't tell if they're actually listening to me or not. This kind of feels good, doesn't it? Like some coming of age story. So, um, thanks for giving your input earlier. Honestly, if I was on my own, I would have let them keep running. I'm glad I asked you to coach with me. It means a lot having you here. Trust not trust me. Hey, hey. Something about that lipstick she got on, boy, that shit just looks perfect, bro. I don't know what it is. Oh, it just looked right. It just looked right like on her. want to run with you. You think you could do just one lap? It'd be setting a good example for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It just looked right on her, bro. Like, mm -hmm. Oh, it's you. Is it just my imagination or have the lost been proliferating more quickly than usual lately? 
There are over two weeks until the next moon, the next full moon. So why? I suppose we should just focus on what we can accomplish right now. We'll deal with the next shadow. It's still being affected. If you want to go by hey, hey, that's your commitment on the bed. Hey, hey. Wait, who's that right there? Marasaki Hiko. He really just be chilling in his room. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm check on him. Yeah. He really just be chilling in his room. That ass. Bro. I'm like, he doing something in his room. Uh oh. I don't know if I need to look in there. <laughs> I don't know if I need to look in there. Who's there? Get her out. Bro. Senpai? Hey, man. Oh, um, I was just cleaning my room. Sorry, was it too loud? Uh -huh. Okay then. Good night. <sighs> um, senpai, actually, there is something I'd like to talk about. Will you come in? Sorry it's so messy in here. This won't take long. I actually have a favor to ask of you. Got the soccer ball right there. You see, I have a pet hamster. I got him when I was living with my mom, and he's been with me ever since. So I decided to bring him here. If, for some reason, I don't make it back here in the future, then this little guy will be all alone. Oh. So, could you help look after him if that happens? Whoa. That won't happen. Of course. I have you guys with me, so I won't go down easily. But you never know, right? It was the same with my mom. Everything happened so suddenly. So please. I can even provide a little something as thanks. I'll give you all my allowance. And the rest of my New Year's money. And I'll give you all the comics here, plus whatever else you want. Okay, that works for me. <laughs> well, aren't you the lucky one? But when that happens, you better listen to him, okay? What's his name? Uh, his name, it's Hamburger. <laughs> Hamburger? That's a good name. <laughs> you think so? Mom used to always laugh about it. The night he came too. home with me, we had hamburgers for dinner, so that's why. Oh, wow. Anyways, thank you so much. <laughs> Never that's forget that relief. one. There's not much time left now. Huh? Sorry again for the disturbance. Could you- You'd be saying some cryptic shit. Everyone else for me? It's getting late, so I'm going to bed soon. You'd be saying um, some real cryptic actually, shit, man. Can I ask you one more thing? Mm -hmm. Everyone in this dorm is so kind. They always come up to me for a casual chat. And they treat me like a normal person. Sure, there were plenty of adults who showed concern for me, but I feel like the people here are a little mm. different. And you came to check in on me again today, but why? Why does everyone here care about what happens to me? Mm. A team. I only just joined. You already think of me as one of your own? I guess that was a weird question, wasn't it? Sorry, don't mind me, but maybe mm. I should have asked sooner. I don't know if I'll be able to fully repay you for your kindness, but I'll do my best. Okay then, good night. <sighs> Senpai, I'm really glad you came. Thank you, and I'm sorry. I won't let you down. Why you couldn't tell me that while you were Hey. 
heard there's a nasty tech. Dang, he sounded like Puyico. There's a nasty typhoon on the way. You think Lulu still has a culture festival Saturday? Nah. I don't think so. The way they're talking, the typhoon is going to be way too destructive. Huh? Seriously, think it's going to be canceled? Man, after all that work we put into preparing for it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kenji, Yukari, Chihiro, Kenji. I need him. Ooh. That's strange. Strangely enough, every person that they listed, Chihiro is Justice, Lover, Magician, and I think Fortune. I literally have one of those already. I think I'm gonna hang out with what's his name though. I ain't talked to him in a minute. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what? Oh, never mind. There he is. Um, you going to the art club? I haven't hung out with him in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> hey, sorry, but I need your advice again. Let's meet up after art club like we did the other day. Um, don't tell anyone else about this, okay? I'm still torn on studying abroad. My dad's trying to make all my decisions for me. He chose the school I'd go to, the dorm I'd live in. He even bought my plane ticket already. Damn. And I haven't actually agreed to go through with it yet either. Right. He's been like this ever since we argued about the art club. It's like he's suddenly trying to be more understanding. It's weird. Do you want to be a doctor? Well, being a doctor is something I think about a lot. If I do end up studying abroad now and become an artist, there's no turning back, is there? Then I could never be a doctor. My teachers, my friends, and especially you. Everyone's been so supportive, and I know what you must be thinking. A chance to study abroad? What an opportunity. Sorry, it seems like all I ever do is complain to you, but I always feel a lot better after talking to you, so thanks. I don't even know what I really want to do. In times like this, I turn to the heavens. I have to head to the bookstore. You can go on without me. I'm buying a fortune-telling book and reading the whole thing in one night. Uh -huh. Other ways for Harada. She really sound like a uh, what's the name? Some movie and uh, Donna Rupa. Uh -uh. Say, um, all right. I don't know why, but I feel so calm when I have someone reading next to me. It's getting 
pretty late. Should we wrap up for the night? Did you go to the film festival during summer vacation? I did. Oh, the one at the Park Island movie theater? Yeah, I watched a bunch of things. Are they gonna have it again next week? Wow, just for one day. Wanna go? Wow. Yeah. It's on the 23rd, right? I'll pass them. Forget what the theme was this time, but I remember it was off the The 23rd. This is the first time we've met during the day. Oh wow. Let's have a chat while the opportunity presents itself. What about the top one? That doesn't concern me. Now, let's be off. Yikes. Fuck. Wow. I understand one of my group has caused you got a whole mag bro in good health it must be difficult looking after her after all you likely can't rein her in for very long or could it be you've already killed her? we don't kill so you're keeping her alive then i take it you've had to use the suppressants as i'd expect from kirijo's resourcefulness you now have someone with first-hand experience among your number as well. If you already know about the suppressants, that simplifies things. Can you imagine it? A Persona user murdered by their other half. Such is the fate of a Persona that has gone berserk. As you have already seen for yourself. This power of ours is not meant to be wielded by just anyone. That holds true even for those who were awakened by force. It comes at a great cost, and we can only harness it by walking the line between life and death. This power makes us who we are. <laughs> and yet, you hold the ability to wield so many. The Dark Hour has graced you with its favor, almost unjustly so from our perspective. Now, I ask you, don't you think it'd be a shame for you to lose such a special power? You stubbornly cling to that sentiment. Do you have no intention of understanding anything? Choosing to turn a blind eye towards your own power, to the grief of the fallen, the unchosen, the unloved. Such apathy, such insolence. You trample upon everything we stand for, and worst of all, your rejection of my... Hmm. You tread upon your gifts like dirt, and in doing so, reveal your own arrogance. It disgusts me. I see now that nothing will change your mind. If our beliefs are at odds with each other, and neither side is willing to concede, then a battle is unavoidable. Say less. Hmm. Our final confrontation will come in our own time. Okay. You have been blessed with a power greater than any other, and yet you don't see its true value. <sighs> Such a shame. Wow. <laughs> Drenched from the rain. Oh, body shit. Oh uh, my god. Didn't quite make it, huh? Mm. According to the news, a typhoon just hit. Apparently, it's the biggest one on record. It's moving slowly, too, so it'll be gloomy for a while. Yeah, thanks to that, the school festival got canned. 
Well, less work for us in the end, I guess. Still sucks that we'll be stuck indoors for vacation, though. So, what you gonna do over break? Mm hmm. Yeah, we have one. Okay. Seriously? Dude, you're killing me here. What about you, Fuka? Me? The only thing I plan to do is go to the movies. Ooh, a movie? Do you have a date? <laughs> it's not like that. I'm going with Natsuki-chan. We actually talk about movies all the time. Mm -hmm. But with this typhoon, I don't know if we'll make it. How about you, Yukatan? Still gonna have practice? Hmm? I don't know. The archery range is outside, so it's most likely canceled until the storm blows over. Same here. Oh. That stupid typhoon is gonna mess up my training. You gotta be booked, right, Kurijo Senpai? I'm not sure yet. Why are you so curious about our business, Iori? Oh, me? Well, I'd be happy to tell you about my plans. I suspect that you will be visiting Chidori-san. Although <coughs> she is in stable condition now, we still can't release her. Man, Aichan, you must be psychic. And you know what? She even told me she wants me to come. Oh, man! I can't believe she said that. So I figured I should probably check up on her. You know, with the storm and all. Mm-hmm. What's with him? Why is he all excited? Um, well... You don't know either, huh? Um... Oh, Amada-kun! What are your plans during the break? Oh, I'm not really doing anything in particular. Come on, you gotta be doing something. <laughs> oh, I'll probably go visit the shrine. Huh. Dude, you're a kid, not an old man. <laughs> I always go to pray, though. I guess you could say, I have a wish I want granted. <sighs> anyway, I'm going back to my room. I've got a lot of homework to do. <laughs> Oh, okay. Just holler if you get stuck, yeah? Wait, I feel under the weather. What? You're forced. No way. I'm forced to go to sleep. Ain't this about a bitch? I'm feeling terribly chilly. If you wanna go ahead. Huh. What? I didn't think this was gonna happen. Like what? I've been waiting for you. It's been quite some time since I last summoned you in your dreams. Several seasons have come and gone since I first offered you my assistance. Your persona abilities. Have you been using them wisely? Yeah, for the most part. To be direct, I sense a great catastrophe in your future. But it would be a pity to lose one with such potential as yourself. Therefore, please allow me to provide you with a new form of assistance. I will unlock further secrets of fusion previously unrevealed to you i am certain that you will find this to be of great benefit Easy until we meet again. Farewell. Oh, wait, what? 
Bro, wait a, wait a minute. It was the 18. Was this nigga really out for three days? Wait. Nah. Nah. All right, so we're going to go ahead and end the episode off here. And, um... When we come back, uh, let's see, let's see what everybody did. Maya, that's why I really want to hang out with her. Oh, our guy. That's tough. I might hang out with our guy. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and end the episode out here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. But until then, I'll catch you guys later with more Sona 3 Rita. Come on, girl. Let me rock the world. Mm-hmm.